tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, here we go, guys. Black and White Sports 2 fans. The Super Bowl was last night and the game was really, really good. It was a very, very good game. Of course, you guys know it actually ended with some controversy with that holding call. But now, guys, let's focus on the ratings, because yesterday on Sports Wars, we were actually uh, predicting what the ratings would be, how many people to actually watch. I believe like uh, Ryan, Jeremy and um, Beardo were actually all predicting that it would be a little bit better than the uh, the pandemic Super Bowl. Well, they were wrong. I was the only one I believe that actually said it would actually get over 100 million people watching it. But even I didn't anticipate this because you guys can see right here on Variety. Super Bowl ratings 2023 game scores 113 million viewers. Third biggest program in TV history. This thing was massive and it only lost to two other Super Bowls. Both of those, ironically, are actually Tom Brady Super Bowls. We'll get into that. This was a massive TV rating. Now, we cover a lot of the woke stuff on um, the main channel. And there was a lot of controversy with the uh, quote unquote black national anthem being played at the Super Bowl, even though we only have one national anthem. The NFL is still doing some woke, woke stuff. But however, it doesn't seem to actually be hurting the brand. Now, doing the whole Colin Kaepernick thing. Yeah, ratings decline. But he's not in the league anymore. And the NFL has always been more focused on teams rather than individual players. Yes, Patrick Mahomes is a bit time star. Tom Brady, bit time star. Peyton Manning, bit time star. But the true stars of the NFL overall is the teams. Cowboys, 49ers, etc. You get that. This thing is huge. 113 million people. Let's go ahead and read some of this, guys. Uh, Fox's telecast of Super Bowl 57 on Sunday night brought in an average 113 million viewers, according to Nielsen. That makes the Kansas City Chiefs victory over the Philadelphia Eagles not only 1% bigger than last year's uh, rams bengals game, but the third biggest television program of all time. I'm going to say that again. The third biggest television program of all time. The only uh, telecast to ever score a la larger audience had been two other Super Bowls. Check this out. The 2015 Patriots Seahawks game, 114.4 million. And the 2017 uh, Patriots Falcons game, 113.7 million. Now, both of those games actually actually fe featured the GOAT Tom Brady against the um the Seahawks, he was actually going for his fourth Super Bowl to actually tie Joe Montana with four. And in the uh, 2017 game, that was the huge 28-3 comeback where Tom Brady actually got his fifth Super Bowl. And of course, we know he got two more after that. OK, um, it says here, Fox reported this figure as well as a uh, 40 household uh, rating. Based on Nielsen's time zone adjust, adjusted uh, fast national measurements. This includes uh, viewership across Fox, Fox Deportes, and Digital Fox and NFL properties. Fox also says that this was the most watched Super Bowl ever in terms of digital viewership, totaling 7 million streams. Yeah, that was huge because back in the day we didn't have um, streaming and um that was always a question of how they would actually calculate that. This thing was just massive, massive. And Patrick Mahomes is a bit time star, a bit time star. This is his time now. This is clearly his league right now. And um, we have to see how many Super Bowls he's, he's actually going to be in. We'll have to see. Um, it says here, these statistics are an average of how many viewers were tuned in at any given moment during the game. But the numbers of viewers who watch any part of the telecast is 183 million. Wow, that is huge. And it does say here also that uh, Fox reported that Rihanna's performance 
excluding the rest of the telecast, reached an average of 119 million people. This thing was massive, man. Massive. When I saw that this thing was the third biggest program in television history and only two other Tom Brady Super Bowls beat it, the NFL. Now, here's the thing. I don't like the wokeness. I don't like the um, the stuff that they've been putting in the end zones, uh, the messaging on the helmets, the black national anthem. And still, it beat last year's game. Even with some of the wokeness still there. The NFL is just a monster. It's just a monster. And I guess, you know, when you have Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl and Jalen Hurts, really, he's not a household name. Jalen Hurts. This wasn't like um, Patrick Mahomes going up against Tom Brady. He was going up against Jalen Hurts. And of course, you know, when it comes to Super Bowls, people do look at the quarterbacks. Jalen Hurts, we have to see what he actually does next year. He had a very, very good season. He was actually a runner up for MVP. I hope that Jalen Hurts keeps improving. I mean, he played a tremendous game yesterday. The Eagles, I don't want to say that they necessarily lost because of um, him, but he did have that fumble. And uh, the turnover battle, whoever wins that usually wins the game. And um, Mahomes and the Chiefs, they cashed in on that. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys make of this Super Bowl getting 113 million viewers to watch this thing? And I believe they said, what, 100 and 118 million watched at any point? Yeah, this thing was massive. This was huge. This is clearly a win for the NFL. I still say tune down on the wokeness. And guess what? You could only grow this even more. Even with the wokeness, they're crushing everything. Now, I already said that um, on Sports Wars yesterday that I felt that this game would actually get over 100 million because we saw what the NFL did on Christmas Day. They came out and absolutely destroyed the NBA. The NBA used to own Christmas. But on Christmas Day, the NFL crushed it. So if they can crush Christmas, there's no doubt about it that they can actually crush on Super Bowl Sunday. And they did. They absolutely just killed it over here. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports two fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.